Good morning. My name is Dania, and this morning we're going to be doing some yoga. I would recommend having a mat, some pillows, anything comfortable to sit on, and maybe a candle or some light music. Today we're going to do yoga to the rain. So gather your things and let's begin. We're going to take a few minutes and breathe normally just to kind of get yourself situated on your mat or in your nice, quiet, private space that you can practice in. And just inhale and exhale. Let the shoulders drop. Let your spine stretch up nice and straight. Throughout the class, I'm going to say pay attention to your spine. So I want you to pretend that while we're sitting here, you have a string attached to the top of your head and the base of your spine, kind of pulling you nice and tight. Also, as a word of note, um, anything that we do this morning if it's uncomfortable, if it's painful, if it hurts too much to do it, back out of what we're doing and come back to sitting in lotus pose or lie down flat on your back and join us when you can. We're gonna start with our opening mantra, Om Namo Guru Dev Namo. And we're gonna bring our hands into prayer pose Thumbs touching at the sternum, connecting to your divine inner wisdom. And we're just going to take a breath or two. And we'll inhale to begin. Om Namo Guru Dei Namo And we have been welcomed by my friend Roscoe. Hi Roscoe, come sit. Come sit with us. There you go. Come sit. Good boy. Good boy. There you go. Good boy. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo means I call on the divine wisdom within. And that's what we're doing with any kind of yoga practice, with any kind of mindfulness. Bringing your attention to yourself, to your body, to your mind, to your well-being. <clears throat> bring your hands to your forehead and the hands up overhead. You're going to stretch those fingertips to the ceiling just as far as you can. And then gently bring the hands apart and let them fall and fall nice and slow 
through your space. We're going to start this morning with some breath work. If you have tissues, have them close by. We're going to do alternate nostril breathing this morning. And what that will do is help balance the hemispheres of the brain. It will also help clear some lung congestion, anything we have going on, especially right now. Um, if you can't breathe too deep, don't worry about it. Just take it as we go. So you're going to start with your thumb pressing against your right nostril and inhale through the left. And then you're going to flip your hand so that the right nostril is open and you're closing off the left with your ring finger. And exhale off the right. Inhale. And exhale. might feel weird at first, but you'll find your own rhythm, your own breath. And inhale and hold the breath. And as you have the breath suspended, I want you to kind of visualize the breath up into your head and your throat and your heart and your abdomen kind of swirling around, picking up all that whatever you need to get rid of. And then we're going to exhale out the right. Grab a tissue if you need it. <laughs> We're going to start with some simple yet profound neck rolls and shoulder shrugs. So we're going to gently bring the right ear to the right shoulder. Inhale as you drop the chin to the chest. And then bring the left ear up to the left shoulder. This is as far as we go. Exhale. Inhale as you come back down. And exhale as you come back up. You may feel it straining, you may feel it tight in some areas. Just notice it. Do not try to push through and stretch it out. Just move the muscles, breathe while you're moving, and it will loosen up. And you just notice the pain, notice the discomfort. No, no reason to judge it or make it try to go away. It's just there. We're going to bring our chin to the chest. These are some really great exercises and stretches for you to do. You're going to clasp your hands behind the back of your head at the low neck. 
and you're going to bring your head up about halfway between all the way down and all the way up. So halfway, we're going to press your head into your hands and your hands into your head, meeting some resistance. Shoulders down, back nice and straight. Inhale and exhale, release the pressure and pull the neck to the chest. We're going to come up to the right side, bringing your right ear to the right shoulder all the way down and then back out about halfway, keeping your hand over your ear. Again, create some resistance. Press the head into the hand this way and the hand into the head. You're going to feel some tension, some tightness, some stretching. This is isometric stretching right here. Take a deep breath. Exhale and lower the neck all the way down. Gently release it. Come to neutral. And we're going to do the other side. Come out about halfway. Press your head into your hands. Hand and the hand into the head. Inhale and exhale. Good. And release the pressure. Pull the neck down. Good. And we're going to move right into some shoulder shrugs, shoulder circles, round and round. Leave your hands loose over your knees. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale, exhale. Really think about those shoulder blades, bringing them together as much as possible and then curling the chest around. Good, you're gonna reverse this now. Back nice and straight, pay attention to your posture. do some spinal work right now, working the vertebrae, getting that back nice and warmed up for the rest of our class. Elbows into the waist as tightly as you can. You're going to turn right as you inhale and then turn left as you exhale. Start out very slow, build your own rhythm, build your own pace. Sometimes it does help to actually over accentuate the breath. Let yourself hear yourself breathe. And please don't try to use the arms to propel you side to side. Use the spine. Imagine every vertebrae is slowly unwinding, softening, waking up. Bring it all the way up from the base of your spine at your sacrum all the way up to the back of your head. Come center, inhale, and exhale. You're good. Stay, stay. We're going to do some detoxing for our organs this morning. So we're going to do what's called washing machine. 
You bring your hands at the front of your knees. You're gonna inhale as you come back, rounding the back, rounding the shoulders, pulling the belly down towards the spine. And you continue forward. As you come forward, you're bringing the chest between the hands, bringing the chin to the ceiling. You're gonna feel this everywhere from your hips, to your ankles, to your shoulders, and to your head. So we're gonna use the waist and the abdomen to move us in a clockwise position. And then we're gonna reverse it. Inhale forward, and then exhale back. We're going to reverse it to the other side. Good. And come sitting up straight. Breathe. If you have a pillow or a blanket, we're going to come onto our knees. I like to put a pillow behind my my butt helps with my knee issues so take a nice deep breath hands are soft the thighs. we're gonna inhale as we open the heart and the chest bringing the arms back arching the back slightly chin to the ceiling and exhale Round out the shoulders, bringing the hands to the front of the knees, curling the navel back to the spine. Good. Bring it to neutral and just rest for a moment. Bring your hands down <laughs> in front of you as you bring yourself to your feet, leaving the hands on the floor if you can, if not at your ankles or at your calves. Feet are about hip width apart. And you're just going to hang, dropping the neck. Of 
Please keep the knees slightly bent. I don't want to overextend them. Just not slightly bent. So your chest is basically resting on your thighs. comfortable, you're going to wrap your arms around the back side of the legs. This is excellent for digestion, for cleansing the gut. It should be done every single day or whenever you're feeling sluggish. Hands back forward, bend the knees slightly. Bring your hands up to the knees. Pretend you're sitting in a chair. Nice flat back if you can, tucking the tail. Arms up. Feel your feet on the mat. That's where all of your pressure should be. Feel the toes, the heels. And gently, you're going to bring your arms down. We're going to swing ourselves all the way back up. We're going to be doing a sun salutation today because there is no sudden and we would like it to come out. And typically we do 108 poses, which is about 12 reps of the sun salutation. Do as many as you can, as slow or as fast as you'd like. I'm going to show you how to do it a couple times. And then you can pause the video and keep going. Each asana, each posture gets its own inhale and exhale before moving on to the next one. We're going to come to the top of our mat. Feel your feet on the mat. Feel where it might be a little uncomfortable right now. Maybe the low back. Maybe the shoulders still hurt. We're going to inhale and exhale. Inhale, raise your arms up overhead. And exhale. Inhale, slight back bend. Exhale, bring the arms down and around and down to the floor. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, you're going to right, lift the right leg back into a lunge. Exhale. Hands flat on the mat, inhale, lift the other leg, bring it back, exhale. In downward dog, what you want to focus on doing is lifting the hips, not necessarily the heels, but just the hips. So it's a very small micro movement. Up on your toes, you're going to bend the knees down. You can come all the way down if you'd like into Chaturanga. And then down, plank, and then upward dog. Inhale, exhale. 
grip the mat, come back up into a plank, lift the hips into downward dog, and reverse it. You can add variations to this. You can extend every pose if you'd like. Um, we're going to go through a couple different sequences right now of this and see how you do. Like I said, you can pause the video and keep going up to 108 individual asanas, which is about 12 reps. But right now, we're going to come down onto our mat. We're going to take a nice deep breath. We're going to work the spine, the hips a little bit. And bring your hands out parallel to your legs. And you're going to inhale as you move the waist and the torso forward. Exhale as you come back about 45 degrees, 65 degrees. Inhale and exhale. This is meant to do at a pretty fast pace. So once you're comfortable with your rhythm and with your breath, I encourage you to speed this up. Inhale, and exhale, lower the arms. They'll need to be stretched out a bit, so we're going to place our hands right behind the butt. If you can put the palms all the way down. You're going to roll the shoulder blades inward like you're holding a pencil between your shoulder blades. And open up that chest, bring the chin to the ceiling.
Inhale nice and big from the abdomen. And exhale. And come all the way down. hands underneath your sacrum. And bring your knees in. And you're gonna bring your legs 90 degrees. We're gonna work the solar plexus right now, your abdomen, your seat of confidence, of willingness, of self-esteem and we're gonna do these at a very vigorous pace so we're gonna inhale lower exhale extend inhale bring it in exhale extend ready let's go and controlled. And now we're going to change it up a little bit. Extend them out, bring them up, lower them both. Two inches off the mat, back up. And back to our original. Knees in, legs out, knees in, legs up. And bring the knees in, give yourself a nice hug. Clasp your hands around your knees if you can, if not just hold the tops of the knees. And rock back and forth good we're gonna do what's called happy baby this is to help with the hips you're gonna bring the knees pretty far apart you're gonna grab the ankles the feet whatever you can, however you can. Basically like a happy baby. We'll bring the little bit of resistance on the bottom of the feet, pressing the feet down, the knees down and apart while pressing the feet into the hands a little bit. Or you can just sit here and relax. Rock back and forth on your spine. Don't forget to breathe. Inhale, five seconds. Exhale, five seconds. Bring your feet together. Knees back in. And we're already here, so we're going to do some, a few minutes in Savasana. As with the sun salutations, you're welcome to pause the video, play your favorite music right now, and just kind of allow yourself to be completely and utterly still.
palms up facing the ceiling in a receiving gesture. The feet fall away. If this hurts your low back, I recommend either leaving your feet up a little bit, pressing the heels into the table or into the mat, or putting a pillow underneath your knees or a big towel wrapped up. And if you've had a long enough savasana, if you've rested as long as you want to, we're going to go ahead and come out of this nice and easy. You're going to rotate your hands at your wrists and your feet at your ankles. Rotate them in one direction and then back in the other direction. Bring one knee in, pull that in to the towards the armpit. Excuse me. And then bring the other one in towards the armpit. Bring them both in. We're going to drop these knees to one side and gently twist the spine to the other side with the head. Your knees don't have to touch the floor, they don't have to go down that far. As long as you're feeling a nice gentle twist up the spine, you're good. bring ourselves back to center, knees up and over to the other side as you twist to the other side. Bring everything back to center. Take the palms of your hands and the soles of your feet and rub them briskly together, warming them up, energizing our nerve ends, our energetic ends. Good. And knees in. Chuck, tuck the chin to your chest. Roll up and roll back. And bring yourself back up to Lotus. In my regular classes, we use this time after our uh, asanas. To go within a little bit deeper to bring forth all the things that we're grateful for, all the things we need to pray for, and use this time with myself, with anyone else who's joining us, the collective energies. And if you feel like saying someone's name out loud or what, you, what your intentions are, feel free to do so.
the vibration of what you say out loud is very, very powerful. I would like to take this time to say that I am grateful for my life. I'm grateful for you. I'm grateful for the, the air that I breathe, the soil that I walk on, the water that I drink. Take a nice deep inhale. Sitting up nice and straight, shoulders are relaxed and down. We're gonna end today with Satnam. Simple two word mantra, it means true identity. Join me out loud, if you will. Inhale to begin. So May you be happy, healthy, holy, protected, prosperous, and blessed. Namaste. Thank you for joining me today.